Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Tonight, A Quiet Place. I, I think this is pretty popular. I mean, it's got 7.9 on IMDb. Maybe you've heard of it, or maybe you haven't. Anyway, it's a, in a post-apocalyptic world, a family is forced to live in silence while hiding from monsters with ultra-sensitive sound. So, I, to further explain that, obviously, this family... Uh, which it ended up, that's it. So there's uh, Emily Blunt, John Krasinski, um, I want to read this girl's name, Melissa Simmons. So interesting, I'll talk about her in a second. Uh, Noah Jupe, and two other people. That's it. That's all that's in this movie. That's all the actors. So pretty neat. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are actually married in real life. Uh, so they're a family in this world which it seems like everything has decayed or you know gone away and they have to live in silence because these creatures can hear everything and will kill them if they hear them so interesting concept 7.9 as I mentioned I'm, I brought up Millicent because I read that they really wanted somebody who had who is hearing impaired and I believe she is hearing impaired can't hear and so she's in this movie. So a lot of like real reactions and you know the, and body language from her because she really can hear while as everybody else is being silent. I don't know what that means, but I'm, I think that's an interesting point. So let's get into it. I will watch most of it and, and jump in and let you know what I'm thinking or give you a better idea of what the synopsis is. Um, and you just sit there and be quiet until I come back. See you in a bit. Hey, everybody. We're watching A Quiet Place. We're at the 43 minute and 49 second mark. And it's quite compelling. Very interesting movie. Even though there's very little speaking in it. Obviously they have to be quiet uh, because they don't want these monsters to find them. So there's a lot of sign language. But, you know, subtitles help with that. And as I mentioned, the one girl in it is is actually deaf. So And she's deaf in the show, obviously. Um, and I'm wondering, as they go through this and they're surviving, so it picks up at uh, 472 days. So I'm assuming it's 472 days since the apocalypse, I guess. Um, so they've been doing this for over a year, and they're the only people, as I mentioned, there's one other character in this movie, um, briefly. But uh, other than that, they're, that's it. So I'm wondering if they're able to survive this way because they had the daughter. Um, who was hearing impaired and, and learned to communicate that way. Um, so that, that's interesting. They walk around in bare feet, um, but they spread sand everywhere they go so that they're walking on sand, which is interesting, I'm, I'm obviously assuming, because it makes it quieter than walking on grass or anything else. I mean, McAdam. Um, but uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. It's a family, it's a family of uh, five, and... Uh, and she gets pregnant again, too. It's like, wow, you guys are going to have more kids um, in this post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, they're also like, uh, he has like radios, electricity works. So that's cool. So they have electricity. Um, he has like a basement where he's like soldering and stuff like that. He's also trying to build a um, hearing aid for his daughter. Um, and so he's constantly working on that. As he's working on that, there's things on the boards around, so you can kind of pick up on different things. One thing that I picked up on was three confirmed sightings. So I'm assuming that they have three concern, confirmed sightings of these monsters that can only hear, but they're blind. That was another thing. They say they're blind, but they have very sensitive hearing. Um, so I was like, okay, so they only have three confirmed sightings. And when they're walking around a town, I've seen two or three cars with New York license plates on them. So I think this all takes place close to New York, wherever, or in New York, probably. Um, but it's interesting, if it's really only three, how fast are these things? I mean, these people are the only people around. They, the monsters can't see, they can only hear. But yet, like, if they make a noise, they'll be there right away? I don't know. Uh, well, maybe a flaw. I don't know. Maybe there's more than three. This is all that they, they have said so far. But anyway, very... Very good so far. It's more development now. There are some suspenseful jump. Um, did I scare you there? Jump sections for it. Um, so I'm liking it. Uh, but I'll get back into it a little bit more. It's only an hour and 30 minutes. I, I have to say, though, in the beginning, when it's so quiet 
and there's really no action and they're just developing the story for you and you're reading a lot it's kinda you know what I mean like that is but I understand why it's like that but it is kinda like uh, falling asleep kinda thing and then then it starts getting to a little bit more action so um, I still like it despite that so anyway I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna go back to the quiet place Hey everybody, we're at the credits of A Quiet Place, and it was really good. Um, like I said in the beginning, because it was just so quiet and it's late at night, I was a little sleepy there, but uh, after our last check-in, it just picks up. It's non-stop action, thriller, scariness, you know, a lot of jumpy stuff. I jumped a couple of times. Um, John Krasinski um, not only starred in it, but he directed it, he wrote the screenplay, so... Bravo to him. I'm going to give it an 8 overall. A um, lot of interesting things uh, come up in here. You think about it like they're living by themselves. You know, there's no other people around, so they, they've got to be homeschooled. And they have to be homeschooled via sign language. I mean, one girl's deaf, so she's probably used to it, but the, the boy and everything else like that. And they have to learn how to teach like that, so that's interesting. Um, she's pregnant. Like, okay, how is she going to have the baby you know, and not make any sounds. Her, and how's the baby gonna make, you know, not be quiet and stuff like that. And so they got different tricks, you know, to try and prevent that from happening, but is it gonna work? You don't know, you haven't seen it yet. That's why you're watching me. Um, and uh, uh, very good. I mean, like there's some things I, I, I thought were, eh. You know, that I found it on the board because they keep showing that board with some of the hints on it, like they're indestructible. So I thought, well, why don't you just try and you know, shoot them or something like that. But they say they're indestructible. Um, but it's, but it reminded me a lot of Signs. If you haven't seen Signs, Mel Gibson and um, Joaquin Phoenix, great movie. I love the line in that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Besides Scandinavian high jumpers, what do you got? <laughs> I love that part. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, but it reminds me a lot of that of signs because you know I, I assume these monsters were aliens and the aliens were coming in signs and you know they're taking over everything and it's like you got to find out how to how to beat them and you know and that happens in this as well but there's a sound that these both creatures make sound very similar it's like they took the sound from the aliens and sign and applied it to this movie um, and if, if you see if you've seen both of them and you watch this one you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but very good if you like suspenseful movies, you know, a little sci-fi-ish. Um, and, you know, a lot of movies when you have to read the subtitles, it's like, oh, I don't feel like it. It's not that many. Um, so it's more about, like, the, the non-verbal, you know what I mean? Like, it's all sign language, but not too much that, you know, you have to worry about it. You, you understand what's going on in the whole movie. So, um, and, and very jumpy and good and great. I liked it. I liked the acting, everything. I mean, I enjoyed it. Check it out. It was an 8 for me. I think it's worth watching. If you do, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button. Throw me some comments. Subscribe to my channel. And thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.